Meet Your Client is updated to 1.21.3. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website, meetyourclient.com. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here on their website, you want to scroll down a little until you find the download section, and here you want to download the 1.21.3 version. Currently, this is a dev build, as you can see. In the future, there will be a full release for 1.21.3, and if there is, then I recommend you download that, as it'll be more stable. For right now, though, I can just download the dev build. Clicking on the download button will bring me to this Meet Your Client ad page where you'll have to wait for around 5 seconds and then you can press this skip button right up there and the download will automatically start. Now to use Meet Your Client you do want to make sure that you have Fabric installed for 1.21.3. If you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it then that will be linked down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I have Meet Your Client, which is great. And I can now press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data, just like that. Then hit Enter or click on OK, and this area should open up. In this area, you want to go into the Roaming folder, then .minecraft, and then the Mods folder, right over there. Then you want to simply drag Meet Your Client right into the Mods folder, just like that. And once you've done that, you can close both of these up, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Fabric for 1.21.3. Now as you can see, I'm inside of Minecraft with Meet Your Client active. And I'll just quickly head into a single player world and briefly show you how to use this. If you want the full in-depth Meet Your Client usage tutorial, then that will be linked down in the description below. Real quick before we get in, if you appreciate me showing you this, then... I would, of course, greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Anyways, to get started, you want to press on the right shift button, and that is going to open up this area. This is also known as the click GUI. In this spot over here, you have every single utility that this client has. All these things here are utilities, and you can click on them to turn them on, and click on them once again. And that's going to go ahead and turn them off. The ones that are already turned on are very subtly highlighted and have a slightly darker background. As you can see, the Discord presence, for example, has been turned on by default. Anyways, for the rest, you can actually right-click on these utilities as well. And that'll bring up a customization menu, as you can see. And inside of the customization menu, it also gives you a description of exactly what the utility does for if you're confused as to what to use it for. The descriptions, as you can see, will also show if you hover above these for a little bit. If you're looking for something specific, you can do so in the search bar over there. And another use for these customization menus is that it allows you to add certain utilities to your favorites. As well as, one important thing that almost all utility menus have is the option to set a keybind. Simply click in that box, press any key on your keyboard, and that's what it'll be bound to. To unbind, you can press on that once again, and then press on escape. Anyways, closing out of there, that's basically it for the click GUI. It should be pretty self-explanatory to use, or at least not that difficult. For the rest, there's a config area over here. This allows you to edit the general configuration of the client, as you can see, it's currently quite purple, but you can change that. Here there is a GUI area. The GUI is basically uh, the um, general user interface. There's a lot more you can customize here as well. Then there's a HUD. HUD means heads up display. Basically, this means, for example, this little thing showing over here. Uh, this is your coordinates. Then there's some other information over here, including that it says meet your client. These are all parts of the custom HUD that come with the client. As you can see, you can customize that, set a keybind for it, as well as actually edit it too. This allows you to drag around all of these different things. If you right click on these utilities, you can customize them, as you can see. And if you right click on your screen, then you can get a list of more elements to add to this area here. Anyways, moving on, there's also a friends menu. You can type gamer tags over here and you can add in-game meet your client friends. 
There's a macros menu over here that allows you to make macros, and then there's a profiles menu as well. This is quite significant. Creating a profile allows you to save your HUD macros modules as well as waypoints. Waypoints are a part of Baritone, which I will link down in the description below as well. Anyways, basically, a profile allows you to save your entire configuration of all of this area over here. And say you make a specific configuration for when you're playing Skyblock, I don't know, uh, then you can save that in your profiles and then you can enable that whenever you play Skyblock, just as an example, of course. Anyways, basically, that's that for this area, but that isn't all that Meet Your Client has to offer. In the chat, as you can see, there were a few messages here earlier, and Meet Your Client actually supports custom commands. You can type dot help in chat and you'll get a list of these commands. Hovering above them will give you a brief description of what they do. And if you're not sure how to use them, you can simply type the command in chat and notice, whoa, there is autofill. This is fantastic. I absolutely love the fact that Meteor Client has autofill. It makes it so much easier to use. Anyways, basically for right now, though, that was uh, that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.